day everyone welcome to another episode of quick math tutorials today we are going to learn about point line and plane first let's define what is a point a point indicates a location it has no size and no dimension when we say dimension we have the length width and height so a point it has no length no width and no height it is represented by we have here the small dot then the big letter z or we can read this one as point z or the big dot then the capital letter r so we can read this one as point r then we have the small dot or we can read this one as point S. In drawing the, a point, you can have a small dot or a bigger dot. Now, let's look at these some examples of a point which can be seen in real life. First, we have the tip of a pen. So we have here. So we have an example of a point. Second, location on a map. So we have here the location of Elegant City. So this is a point. Last, we have the tip of a stick. So we have here the tip of a stick. So this is an example of a point in real life. Now, let's move on to the line. Line extends in two opposite directions without and so for example we have this line in both directions so we have here the left side and the right side it extends in opposite direction without end or to infinity also line contains infinite points so for example we have here a line there are so many points containing in this line so we cannot count all of the points because it has an infinite points also line can be named using two points on a line for example we have here a line and it has two points the first point we have point m and the second point we have point n in naming this line we can have the line mn so this is the symbol for the line. Or you can have the line NM. Now, let's look at these some examples of a line which can be seen in real life or in your surroundings. First, we have this chair. So this is an example of a line here, also here, 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 and here. Another is this clothes line. So this is an example of a line. Third is a pen. This is an example of a line. And last is a ru ruler. This is an example of a line. And there are still more examples which you can see at your home or in your surroundings. Now let's have the plane. Plane is a flat surface that extends infinitely in all directions. It has no thickness. This is an illustration of a plane. So this is a flat surface and it extends in all directions. So this flat surface can extend upward downward and sideward so this small plane can also be this plane or it can get even wider since this flat surface can extend in all direction infinitely also a plane can be named using at least three points on a plane for example, we have this plane and it has three points A, B, and C. So we can name this plane as plane ABC. 
or by a capital letter. So, for example, we have this plane. So, we can name this plane as plane X. Now, let's take a look at these some examples of a plane which can be seen in real life. First example, this is a chalkboard. So, this is an example of a plane. Another is a paper. Third is a cell phone. And we also have a television. And there are still more examples of a plane in which you can see in your home or in your surroundings. Now, let's define these terms which are related to point, line, and plane. First, we have collinear points. Collinear points are the points that lie on the same line. Coplanar points are the points that lie on the same plane. Non-collinear points are the points that do not lie on the same line. And non-coplanar points are the points that do not lie on the same plane. For example, for collinear points, since it says that they are the points that lie on the same line. So as you can see here in our illustration, the points that lie on the same line. So for example, we have here this line. So the points that lie on this line are the points A and C or points C and A. So, these two points, they are called collinear points. Next, we have coplanar points. Since it says that they are the points that lie on the same plane. So, here in our illustration, this is the plane. So, the points that lie on this plane are, we have the point A. B, C, and D. So, except for E, since our point E is not on this plane. Thus, these four points is what we call coplanar points. Next, we have non-collinear points. These are the points that do not lie on the same line. So, here in our illustration, the points that do not lie on the same line are B and C. Since our point B here do not lie on this line, so they are non-collinear points. Another is A and B. Or we can also have C and D, A and D, or B and D. So they are non-collinear points. Last is Non-coplanar points. These are the points that do not lie on the same plane. So here in our illustration, the only point that does not lie on this plane is point E. So point E and point B or point E and point C, they are non-coplanar points. So to sum it up, a point it has no size and no dimension, or no length, no width, and no height. For line, we have this one. It extends into opposite direction without end, or it extends in both directions infinitely. And it also contains infinite points. And last, we have the plane. So, plane, it is a flat surface that extends infinitely in all direction. And that ends our quick math tutorials. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next video, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye! Tell me that you love me